Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. If you had seen the picture to the introduction to this video, you had seen that my IFAC is quite a mess. Uh, I had been using this hefty Ziploc bag, and it's not the, the best of solutions. The, the bag itself is failing, and it was just not very organized. So I decided to go out on Amazon and find some better, and I picked up the Maxpedition FR1, and this comes in at the time of this video, $36.15. So, as you can see, I have a flashlight here and a Sharpie here. Now, one thing I do want to say is I'm not a medical professional. I've received some uh, first aid training through work. It might make me uh, more dangerous than, you know, helpful, but, uh, you know, I digress. But anyways, moving on. When I purchased uh, this uh, pouch, this bag, I was thinking I could keep the tourniquet on the outside. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, except for this right here. That's kind of not the best of solutions, I don't think. Um, but when you or someone else is bleeding out, time is, uh, is of the essence. So easy access, quick access is important for a tourniquet. Now, if you are by yourself and you are in a uh, bad situation and you need to call attention to yourself, light and sound is a good idea to have. So we have flashing light. Let's see, on the inside here, before I go on the inside, I'll just give you the specifications of the FR1. It is a dual fabric construction, 500D uh, hex ripstop uh, fabric plus uh, 1000D plain weave uh, uh, nylon. It has YKK zippers. It's uh, six inches long, two and a half, two and a half inches wide, and uh, nine inches high. It comes in at 9.6 ounces empty. It is uh, triple coated in uh, polyurethane, uh, finished off with a Teflon fabric protection, all to keep it uh, clean and dry. Now it's not 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant. It does have a drain hole there. So on the inside here, I have, again, sound to call attention to myself. Uh, we have an Israeli bandage, another Sharpie. We have some bleed stop back here, along with a couple surgical dressings. So again, we have the uh, uh, the packing gauze, a couple uh, pairs of nitro gloves, and a an alien blanket, along with a couple gauze pads. Now the gauze pads are kind of useless if I don't have tape, which I could not fit in here. But anyways, um, if anybody has some better solutions than this, this is not bad. I, I think I need to re-examine it. Um, anybody in the medical field or, you know, has training and you want to give me so, uh, so a better solution or an idea how I could carry the uh, tourniquet better. Um, that might just be the best way. I don't know. But uh, I feel like that's just hanging off a little too much. If I could find a way to put it on the side, make it a little more compact uh, front to back, that would be great. I might put some Velcro on the side here. I don't know yet. So, again, that is the Maxpedition FR1 coming in on Amazon for $36.15. Right now on the Maxpedition website, it is $34.19 plus shipping. But if you're a first-time buyer, you get 15% off. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, that's my story. Uh, as always, I hope everybody is having a great day. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.